get to the place. Hello, and welcome back to my program's dev stream of RP1. And joining me from the start, happily, is Maximal. And hey. hey, we're talking about what other information it makes sense to put in the load game dialogue, given that I added confidence. Also, like, I remain basically unhappy with the, the color purple that we're using, because it's not easily readable. But I don't know what else to grab. Maybe pink? I think pink would be brighter. Maybe. Uh... It's just we already have green, blue, and yellow. <laughs> like, and we can't really use red because red is the color for bad. Yes. Okay, so... Um, I don't know. I don't think I would actually add more information about programs right now uh, to this thing. Like... Programs changes seldom, and yeah, like it's not like you're gonna learn anything new from this. For, like, which thing you should be picking from the save game from that? You want something that you like. You want the date. Actually, the date should be showing up more clearly than it does right now. I mean, it. I mean, shows up on that line, but yeah, it's not colored. Uh, the other thing, I mean, we could put total number of staff. The uh, one thing that I asked for for this dialogue before I had left, it was one of the things we were we were updating some of these dialogues during 1.12 was a sort by date rather than this yep. alphabetical sort. Oh, yeah, that's, that's actually pretty easy to add because it's dialogue GUI based. Well, up to you, but um, yeah, there was a whole, I, I had a whole list of uh, changes, many of which got in for things like the uh, the craft dialogue stuff. We, I mean, we overhauled yep. that in 1.12, um, but this was one thing that missed yeah. the... Yeah, if you make an issue on the, the tracker, that should be pretty simple to do, because I'm already, I'm already sorting that list, so I just need to add uh, another button that calls some static function that sets what the sort order is. Okay, because that would be really useful. I, I I was always like you know typing things in by number, so it would be alphabetically sort my saves uh, by the actual number. But then you know you roll over yeah. the digits, and then you're like, oh, did I plan for enough digits here? Yeah. Um. All right. And sorry, you mean by in-game date or by most recently played? most recently played would be most useful. Okay. Yeah, that's but, that's super yeah. easy to do because that's tracked in the meta file. I mean, technically they, they all are. Although I guess... Do you want this I... issue on not budgets or yeah. RP0 or... No, RP just, just in the issue tracker. Yeah, because that's something I can knock out in like a half hour. Okay. It's UI, which is why it's a half hour, not five minutes. Um. Okay, done. Thank you. Let me just verify that I got no exceptions. Other than the expected ones, <laughs> should really fix that throw and module deployable part. Put that in KSP. Community fixes. Um, right. So I have. Comsat and take one of these. By the way, I added all those uh, leaders to the spreadsheet and added some notes for what I pulled out of their 
biographies cool. for what matters. Um, if you want to add anything on the notes that I you think should be important, like for instance, I'm not sure why Shriver should have a particularly imp impact on TF. Uh, it's because so he's the reason why um, the first three pioneers failed. Okay. Yeah, basically there was a there was a known turbo pump issue with the engine on the early Thors, which he didn't want to wait to have them pulled um, offline and have the turbo pumps replaced or repaired or whatever. So he just decided to roll the dice. And that's like, I think, two of the three failures and some other high-profile failures. <laughs> gotcha. So that, that's what that's in reference to. Um, mostly, mostly like, and it's hard to model, but mostly what he cared about was making sure that Air Force had control over all the missiles everywhere and no one else did. Well, I wrote down, like, my negative for him was that he was contentious. He seemed to, like, have disagreements with a large number of people. Yes. But uh, then that would be two different uh, negatives for him. Yeah, I mean, I, the, yeah, I need to just download test flight and dev on that. I mean, I guess I could no. just, I could just do stuff in Harmony, but that feels weird given that we have the mod. Um, Dryden was the one I was thinking of doing something in uh, FAR 4, because yeah. before he was working as an admin, he'd done a lot of stuff on aeronautics, and he seemed like he was extremely diligent from his work on the at the Bureau of Statistics. So, Yeah, and like even after he was NASA Deputy Administrator, he basically run the, he ran the air rather than the space part of NASA. Mm -hmm. uh, although Are you it... putting web in here, by the way? Is somebody else going to do that? Um... Yeah, we should probably put web in. Um, yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't put him in. Okay. Um, and Beastie, yeah, no, there's, so there's that. There's, you are know, working on Alan Bond as well. Um, and any other names you want to put forward and work on would be good to have them. Sure. Uh, although, uh, Maxwell, as Simon was pointing out, the danger of the far stuff is then uh, craft may or may not be flyable for people who don't have the leader. I mean, uh... like, flyable if you're super careful, but it's still... Well, I wasn't going to make his the wings weaker under him, so... Right. No, no, no. The, but... the, point, the point being the reverse. If you make them stronger and you design planes based on that, then those craft files are a little dangerous to share. Well, then you should note that when you share them. I mean, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, we've... Like, I think the, the point is that we've based, and like the test flight stuff is some, like, I feel is sort of in the same wheelhouse as that, where it, it is, it is changing how craft behave rather than only changing the management side of the program. Which is worth thinking about. Yeah, I, I think. To me, that what's well, that's what attracts me to the idea of doing it. That you know, like you actually have a, like it's not just some statistic benefit in the meta game, but it's actually matters to your craft. So, I mean, I can see his point, but I disagree with it. <laughs> yeah, like if you and the the, I don't think like anything will not work. Uh, we're not going to have like a uh, you know like this all engine only works if this leader is here, but if things like adjusting its failure rate or you know like having to fly a craft less carefully yeah uh, oh yeah i was gonna check contract this is oh hey <laughs> right it has an apogee limit 
So I have to actually calculate the data on that one. Right. And I guess to just to use up that launch complex, I will first weather sat requires 20 units of weather payload. Um, I'm just going to accept it so I have this kept. Oops, wrong thing. I got rid of the set motors. Don't want that. This can be just this. liters of that and then merge lunar orbiter Staging, which already basically looks correct, except for the whole uh, hot stage issue. Although we might, yeah, this will be fine, I think. Okay. And we'll fill up the whole way. Of Bond? It's Beastie one. We're adding Alan Bond eventually. Is that who you mean? Uh, yeah, I'd mentioned Bond, so I assume that's... That would be why. Oh, heh. Heh, heh, heh. Okay, I guess we're doing it with more limited propellant. Okay, that will hopefully be fine. That's enough delta V that we should be able to go to 300 kilometers. And if we can't, we can use the coast. Everything should still be tooled. And I can check here. Everything's tooled.
Wait, why did it say LC14? I actually don't, I'm not really super well following what you're doing in game right now. Another ComSat mission? Uh, WeatherSat. Yeah, it said something about LC14. I don't understand why it mentioned LC14. Uh, I didn't see but, where it said it. Uh, it was a screen message up here. Gotcha. Okay, let's launch our CompSat. Pull it out. Yeah, it's Beastie One. I thinking his negative should be that he never shipped anything. <laughs> Okay, so let's just read the data again. It's want to go from 160 to 5,000. Yeah. All right. Let's pull out the calculator. 160 to 5,500. Uh, the transfer velocity increment is 1060. So we'll see how much delta V is in the kick stage and then calculate what we'll want. Almost used his um, Cambridge professor graduation photo for his icon, which would have been hilarious if I did, because it's super old-timey and ridiculous looking. <laughs> yeah, we got to find a color photo of Mary Sherman Morgan, too. I thought we had color photos for everybody. Yeah, except for the, the person I added. Okay. Yeah, color photos are hard to find for some of them. That's yes. why a lot of them are looking older than they were than they are yes. in their uh, actual. Yes. So there's 1517 in that stage. So we're going to want uh, about 500 meters per second shy of orbit. So 160 and 1200 looks about right. Yeah. All right. Attach 160 minus 1200. Uh, what is the inclination? 41 degrees. Let's go to 45. All right. Everything else looks correct.
Huh, I didn't realize he is younger than my parents. Alan Bond. Maybe we should make that a theme if we find any other British leaders to include just have them all drinking. Uh oh, why is it not? Oh, now it kicked over to stable guidance. Oh, Q trigger got reset. How did the Q trigger get reset? That never changes. Oh, this also got reset. A bunch of stuff got reset. Yep. McChip settings are so confusing. The settings save load. But these were kept. Yeah, I mostly figure it's some black magic if I managed to keep any settings I did want on a craft. So <laughs> I just... Uh... Okay, somewhere around 7,200 meters per second. 7,300 is when we'll stop. Okay, we'll do a real fast spin up. OK, 
okay and we are almost exactly on target cool now let's do apogee kick so we get to apogee go success Here's the contract complete message. That one's even more payload. We'll wait a little bit. Okay, I guess we've got another Mercury flight coming up. Okay, Mercury is ready to go. Let's get into sunlight. Do we have a better option here? No, that's even worse. Oh, we don't have anyone trained. I guess it gets to wait. Also, I have no idea what to spend my money on. I'm rolling in dough. Really? You can't hire more engineers or researchers or something? Uh, R&D is about to finish upgrading. But I've been capped on researchers for a while, and my LCs are full. Uh, are they? Oh, no, there's no... There's no one in this LC. Oh, there's no one in this LC. Yeah. So much for it doing stuff. Okay, that's everyone hired there. That barely made a difference in my funds. Have you built another level of the admin building or? Uh, yep, I don't know. yes I have. All right, applicants. Let's add the applicants.
Oh, yeah, it barely budged. It didn't budge until now because they were all applicants. Cool. Yeah, 90k. Sure. We'll spend on that. Okay, that made a big difference in our research rate. Okay, we'll be able to upgrade the tracking station again pretty soon. Yep. Tracking station doesn't complete until all the way down there. So yeah, we're going to get interplanetary communications and then not be able to upgrade tracking station yet. Oh well. That was not efficient. At least we have the comms. All right, almost done with the training. But I am beginning to droop. I think I got to call it quits here. So, Maximal, thank you for coming by. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Yeah. Good. And I will catch you next time. Night. Later.